Lynn Lowther and I'm the owner and manager of El Gusto at Trentham Shopping Village and also in Leek in Staffordshire Moorlands. I wanted to host the Bra Bank because it seems like a win-win situation. I've been bought in post-operative bras, they've bought in their pre-operative bras, but all these bras are useful to other people. What happens to the bras and the fact that even if they're really old and not worthy of being sold or passed on to someone else to wear, they can be recycled for their straps and clips and hooks and things like that. So nothing's wasted, it saves all that going into landfill. Then a lot of the bras are also sent to much poorer countries where, bless them, the poor women might not even have a bra or be able to afford one or own one, which has to be fantastic to, for us to be able to do that for other people. It actually raises money that then goes into research, which we desperately need in this country. When I got diagnosed with cancer, it was an absolute sideways swipe. It was completely out of the blue. To be honest, as soon as I had that mammogram, I knew there was something wrong because I just saw the look on the lady's face and I literally felt the floor open up around me and the words went through me. I always try to be an optimistic person, it doesn't always work when you're in business, but I always try. Now I decided categorically that this wasn't going to get me. Fortunately for me, I've had absolutely 100% from my family, from my staff, from my friends, Everybody has had something good to say or do. I'm just so happy to be alive and I'm very happy with the work that's been done. It's not everybody that gets a free tummy tuck on the NHS is it? as well as a breast uplift. I don't sweat the small stuff anymore, if that's what you guys say these days. I used to really get upset about all sorts of things in life that seemed unfair and wrong. Do you know what? It takes a lot to actually rattle me now, so I just expect every day to be every day and do the best I can.